Okay guys, um, hi. I am really, whew, chilling out. I am really very, very excited to share with you an unboxing. I am going to be unboxing uh, the Saint and Sinner palette that I bought, like not even, I think it was like two days ago and it's already here. So I'm very, very excited. I didn't expect to be doing this and there have been house painters here all day. So I haven't been able to film it so I've been staring at this box that I have not opened for four hours and it's um I'm about to die because I have to open this so um yeah I'm gonna open it right now okay here we go we're opening it Ooh, that's bubble paper okay got a little card with an angel and a non-angel cat on there okay Mmm, that's lovely. I wonder if I can just shimmy it out of there. Maybe I shouldn't do that with an eyeshadow palette, Sarah. Oh my God. I'm gonna break it before I even get it out. Okay. There we go. Oh my God, this thing. So pretty. Oh. There we go. Also, a mini eyeliner fell out. I had a little coupon code for a, a mini tattoo liner, which is great because I'm out of my other one. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's the size of a book. Oh my God, it's the size of a book. And I, oh, it's, oh. Wouldn't it be great if she did like a book palette? Okay, let's get over, let's do this one first before we talk about other things. Oh wow, look at that too. And it looks like windows. Cause we just went to Paris and we saw Saint Chapelle. So this is definitely, like when I first heard of the inspiration, I was kind of like, oh, I feel like that's maybe gonna be lame. But then I went and I saw it and I, like, I saw the cathedral, not the cathedral, but a very old 800 year old, beautiful stained glass cathedral. And I was like, holy shit, I totally get it. I get it and I have to get this palette. I have chills. Okay. Oh, shut the front door. Shut it. Oh, and that's like, that's raised. Can you guys see that? It's raised. I didn't know it was going to be raised. Okay, here we go. Be really careful about this. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys are seeing this. I'm not seeing it. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it smells good too. Not like chocolate or anything, it just smells good because it's eyeshadow. Oh my god, that ashes thing! Shut up! I'm swatching it. Uh-oh. Here we go. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so especially this uh, shade, the purple one up here, Worship. This looks, it reminds me of... <laughs> My favorite MAC shade probably ever, which was um, Nocturnal. And I think that they still make it, maybe they don't. But this just feels way better than Nocturnal ever felt. Let me see if I can give you a swatch. Oh my God. Wow. That, that is gorgeous. That is beautiful. It looks almost, almost exactly like Nocturnal. I mean, exactly, like a dupe. And I have not found one before. I haven't found one, and here it is. And it's all kinds of vegan and cruelty free, and I think that I am just dying. Okay, all right, I'm gonna chill it out and calm it down. You guys know I don't get excited over anything like I do about new makeup. water so I'm gonna do some swatches really quick and <laughs> it's beautiful I will do some really quick of the ones that I think are like catching my eye so I'm gonna turn on my light these two at the top here absolution and rapture are like really glittery so let me putting those Absolution and Rapture. Let me do some swatches. <gasps> mm 
Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> so, cathedral and rosary. <gasps> cathedral, rosary. Wow. Mm. That is just like a really beautiful silvery shade with definite lots of glitter happening. Let me um, try going to try a cathedral, the silvery glittery one, with a, a brush and no primer and all that jazz. So. That's pretty good. I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, for a shadow like that, no, this is no primer and a brush swatch on the back of my damn hand, and that's a finger swatch, so that's pretty good. These guys up here are supposed to be like glitter toppers, so it would make sense that you would want to kind of put it on with your finger and not like a blending brush or something. Let's do um, ministry investment ministry, and this is investment. This is looking, you know, like one of those um, like blue brown pigment from MAC or label horror used to be from. Too faced, but I think they discontinued that and maybe it's called something else. I don't know. It's one of those like teal, red shifty looking things. I'm not sure though. I'm just well, I'm gonna swatch it right now and find out. Ministry investment. Wow. Okay, so this is vestment and this is ministry. Um wow. Ministry seems to be not as pigmented, but still pigmented. But vestment is like, wow, that's really beautiful. Beautiful duochromatic clubby shade. Holy balls. Okay. Okay. Hang on. What else do we want to do? Have time for a couple more swatches. I'm sorry. I'm rushing this because I have to go meet my mom for dinner, but I wanted to do this like right away because obviously I could not contain myself. Obviously. Okay. So we're going to do martyr and devil. So Martyr is like the more mustardy shade, and then Devil is like the orange bricky shade. Oh wow, okay. Now those seem to be, because they're matte, so they seem to be like a little more, you know, on the sheer side. Because they're matte, and that's what's going to happen to a matte eyeshadow. So I'm not mad at it. I'm excited about it. I'm ready to go and build it up a little bit on each one so you guys can sort of see. This is also getting into like the hairy part of my arm, so they'll start suffering there anyway. Okay, so Martyr and Devil. Martyr Devil. I really am excited about that Martyr shade. I wanna put that. Oh, let's put it through the crease. We can do that. I have time for that. I have a little time. Ah, uh, this is such like a 1990s, like 1996 shade, like um, my so-called life vibes from this. This mirror is really far away. Hang on. I'm doing a tragic job. Oh my gosh. And it's like so pigmented and it's going on really well, you guys. It really is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and let's put some, I'm gonna put the little, the sparkly one, what's that called again? Absolution. I'm just gonna use my pinky. I'm gonna use my pinky. I'm gonna use the golden sparkly one up at the top, this, this guy. And I'm going to just put that in my inner corner and see what, what happens. Ooh. Oh, wow, I barely even touched that. Gosh, you know, these remind me of those um, pressed pigments from MAC. That's what this reminds me of. And this particularly, particularly reminds me of one called um, Flicker. I mean, I would go get it out of my kit to do a dupe comparison, but I am pressed for time. Wow, that's really pigment. And it just like, you just press it. You don't want to, I don't think you want to sweep really or blend with these. You just want to push it. 
over the top. So can you guys see? Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of absolution. Oh, that's lovely. I feel like a fairy. Very Catholic fairy. Mm. Yes, yes, ma'am. And I think honestly too, if you have dark skin or darker skin, this would work on you because it's yellow. And I think also the rapture will probably work on like really dark skins. That would be really pretty. Okay, all right, I'm getting carried away. Maybe, do I have time to do more? I probably don't. But let me swatch this Exodus one, Exodus and Stigmata, these two. They seem like super interesting to me. Exodus is like the lime green and Stigmata is the red. Wow, okay. So Exodus is like a little light, but again, it's like in a matte base. It has like gold glitter in it, but it's a matte base. So I'm gonna build it up a little. It's also really a really light shade, so it's not um, too much of a contrast to my skin. But I feel like it's showing up really yellow here, whereas here it's way more green. And then this is stigmata, and that's just pigmented as all get out. Look at that, it's beautiful. Should put some, hang on, wait. <laughs> Check it out. Ha! <laughs> okay, maybe it's not funny, I don't know. So, uh, final thoughts, Kat Von D, Center and Saint palette is something that is amazing and if you can get it, you should get it. And I know it's kind of expensive, I think $62, but I would have paid $62 for that Nocturnal dupe. What the hell is it called? Worship. Yeah, well, I worship the eyeshadow, so it's a good name. I would have paid 62 bucks for that, I kid you not, because Nocturnal from MAC, while it was beautiful, it was a struggle to work with it, and I think this one's like really buttery and it's gonna be wonderful. Um, but also, there are like 24 shades in here, so that's really cheap. It's like, I don't know, how much is that? It's like less than $3 a shade or something. It's an insane deal. It's a really good deal. Um, anyway, that ashes color is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that it's like, up here ashes it's like gray but then it has like a green shift and i thought it was gold um in all the swatches and like up close product pictures but it's actually like teal green it's so cool or maybe not teal green like str like green I'm so excited. So anyway, um, I'm gonna play around with this for a while and do some looks with it and stuff. And I probably won't do a full on review. I'll just like give you my thoughts as I'm doing the looks with the palette. Is that cool? Let me know down below if you wanna see like an actual full on review after I've played with this for a while, or if you just want me to talk about it when I do the looks. Either way, it's fine with me. I don't care, it's beautiful. It's very weighty. I think it's probably the heaviest palette, probably the biggest palette that I have. Um, oh my God, it's freaking beautiful. And let me know if you think it's like beautiful and wonderful, or if you think it's like a waste of money. I wanna know what you guys feel about this stuff. Obviously, you know how I feel about it. I love it, I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to stop being such a dork and gonna go like resume my normal behavior. So that's it, that's my uh, unboxing some swatches, some try on, whatever, freak out. Um, I hope you guys are well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and um, I will see you all in my next video.